This demonstration will show the fan controller doing what it was built to do. Around the back we can see how it connects to the console with the case assembled. We can start monitoring the temperature before the console is powered on, or alternatively it can be powered on just before shutdown. Temp1 monitors the GPU, and Temp2 monitors the room temperature, which lets us know when it's safe to turn the fan controller off. We'll give the dashboard a few minutes to get up to idle temperature. As you can see, a fairly significant rise on the GPU's probe. This is just sitting idle on the dashboard with the dimmed screensaver engaged. Around the back we can see that there is a scorching hot summer's day emanating out of the rear of the console. Just before shutdown, we're going to let the fan controller take charge. At this point, on a stock console, this temperature would be heading in the opposite direction. Two and a half minutes after shutdown. And this is five and a half minutes after shutdown. Here we are 9 minutes after shutdown. With passive cooling, this temperature can take 3 hours or more to reach. <laughs> 